I'm not sure what, what I'm bringing up, but it's, it's relevant to everyone mm -hmm. because um, somehow we are all here and we're facing truth and truth is exploding inside. And at the same time, I have witnessed that strong forces come to bring resistance, mm -hmm. uh, especially when something as powerful as this is taking place. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I have the privilege to work with the international Sangha, with the different Muji Sangha groups around the world. Mm -hmm. And what has come up is that those who meet and gather to watch broadcasts or videos of satsang f find, and I've, I've experienced this, this great support of the Sangha <coughs> and uh, how the Sangha, just, just being in the Sangha and around satsang and how different it is sometimes to watch a broadcast from home, just making a cup of tea in between or cleaning the house, I don't know, mm. or, or just meeting in a place where people are drawn to somehow make a satsang hall of their living room and, and, and you enter, mm -hmm. so often through the broadcast, you enter this room. And yes. So I just want to bring it up because uh, sometimes what, I, what, I, what the different people who organize satsang said was that people just find it easier to, to be at home and watch the satsang, which is fine, but somehow we have felt the strength of being together in this somehow. I understand what you're saying. I understand. Yeah. Okay, very good. I was aware of this um, anyway. Something brought my attention like this. Now you're refreshing that. And so maybe I can just say a couple of words on this. Because there are people, of course, the broadcasts are going all over the world. It's uh, available for everybody. But what Mirabai was saying, is, is saying, is that, um, you know, groups, certain people have come together to form a kind of uh, a localized, local sanghas in different parts of the world in order that um, people who are called by the same voice can meet together and enjoy like a broadcast in this type of setting, in a, like, a, like watching together as one sangha rather than as individuals doing, watching in their own time. And although that's the most appealing way for many people, like it's very convenient, I'm at home, I just put it on, I can just do my own thing, it feels more like it's a bit, a bit more resistance to go to where the gatherings are. But we are encouraging people to do this because you get a lot more uh, support uh, energetically when you're in a Sangha. Sometimes discussions open up, people can participate and rarely do people attend this type of gathering and then feel that it wasn't really worth it, I could have just stayed home, unless your mind is kind of still playing that. So we, I would like to encourage that the people who are doing this, that they continue and that uh, the ones who would like to keep contact inside the field of Sangha really take this opportunity and, uh, and stay within the group for a while until you gain sufficient power to really be on your own in that completeness. So uh, sometimes the casualness of uh, watching at home seems very appealing, but uh, as soon as, then it's just like watching TV and uh, for, for some people, whereas in the atmosphere of a group, it's another, it's like another feeling is there. Like if you want to watch football on the television or something, it's one experience, but going live to a match is a very, very different experience, a much fuller experience. So Mira is just pointing that out to encourage people, especially if you don't have to go to such a far way, to make use of that opportunity in your city or in your towns and so on, and build your Sangha. Like this is what you mean? Very good. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.